Good morning. Uh, my name is TJ Kim from Maida, Singapore. Uh, before getting started, if anyone can see the screen properly, uh, please raise your hand using GoToWebinar function. Uh, okay, so if you have any question during the webinar, uh, you can just write down the question in the question box. Then we will take care of the question. So uh, today's uh, webinar purpose is to communicate with you about base plate design as per Eurocode on uh, using Midas Design Plus. And this webinar will help you to understand the scope uh, of the new feature of base plate module in Design Plus. Uh, in this webinar, we will uh, see the Design Plus base plate module and we are going to check these features. So, a uh, link with Midas Gen. So, actually, we can uh, link Design Plus program with our uh, 3D analysis program Midas Gen. So we can link uh, the property of materials and sections, and we can also link the anal analyzed forces. And we will see the design and check option. So we can design as per Eurocode 3, and you can also uh, see the design for uh, FEM analysis. And uh, also uh, report generation. Uh, we will see MS uh, Word report and then we can also generate PDF file format and internal uh, report generation function. And also, uh, we have if we have many uh, components of the design uh, base plate, then we can also do the bulk design using Excel format. And also, uh, we can generate the drawing of this base plate uh, components in Midas Design Plus. So all these function will be automated. So we will see how we can use Design Plus of Midas, uh, Midas Design Plus or Base Plate module. Uh, before getting into the demonstration, I would like to share the design scope of uh, Midas Design Plus Base Plate. Uh, in Eurocode, uh, the concept of effective area method is used for uh, designing base plate. The forces transferred uh, through uh, t stuff should be assumed to spread uniformly as shown in figure uh, 6.4. Uh, this is from Eurocode. So uh, this concept has been considered in the design plus uh, design process of Midas Design Plus. And uh, not only for the axial force but also for the bending moment, uh, Midas Design Plus carry out the uh, uh, design uh, result as per Eurocode 3. So all these uh, cases, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, it can be considered in the design process. And even uh, uh, in the case, if we have the prying effect, this prying effect as per Eurocode also can be considered in uh, design process. And also it checks for uh, welding uh, between column and base plate as per Eurocode. So all this design uh, concept has been uh, implemented in Midas Design Plus base plate module. So uh, uh, actually the Eurocode, all the design process of Eurocode has been implemented but I just uh, would like to emphasize those things. Okay, so uh, now let's uh, getting into the demonstration. Okay, uh, so this is the Eurocode version of base plate design module. So as I explained in the presentation, you can actually choose the design method of effective area method and then finite element method. So uh, most of the case, we can actually use finite element method as well. But actually, uh, some uh, for the Eurocode uh, equi uh, Eurocode calculation, uh, the concept we need to use uh, is effective area method. So uh, actually, some other program, if you have the base plate module, 
the module uh, only provides you the finite element method design. Uh, but in Midas Design Plus, we can actually provide the uh, both method as per the code and then as per the uh, finite element method, effect, uh, effective error method, and then FM method. So uh, actually, uh, I now I choose finite element method. So here, uh, as you see, we can actually input the axial force and then by axial moment and then shear. And we can also select the section for H section and box, pipe and angle channel section as well. And uh, we can also change our size here. If I click this use DB, you can actually input your own size. And then uh, if I, uh, there's, all, uh, there's two options, design and check. So here in design and check, uh, if I click design, then program provide you the suitable size or number of bolts based on your input forces. If you click check option, then actually we can check uh, at this uh, same stage of uh, which we input for the force uh, and then section size. And also we can input the welding uh, effective length of the welding. So we can check for the uh, welding as well for the base plate. And then if I click check, then program gives you the result in the, this table box calculation result. So uh, now I actually uh, applied this rib plate and then wing plate also in this uh, base plate. So you can uh, also change the configuration of this rib plate or wing plate and even you can change the number of bolts and cupboard. And then in the section 2, so here, as you see here, we can choose the base plate shape, rectangular or circular type base plate. Or we can also increase uh, the width or height of the plate. And uh, pedestal, if you want to apply your pedestal, we can also uh, use the pedestal, concrete pedestal. And then uh, anchor board, we can also uh, modify this anchor board configuration here. And as I said, for the uh, FEM method uh, design, we can also use the rib plate and then wing plate stiffener uh, for base plate. So uh, this is the interface of uh, how we can input the data in uh, Eurocode version of base plate. And then uh, after that, we do the design. Uh, if you check the report, uh, if you want to generate the report, we can actually go to report here and then we can generate detail report here. So this report is the format. Uh, this report format is Microsoft Word format. So I actually pre-generated the report. So uh, as you see here, we can actually generate this kind of Word format report. <coughs> so the diagram there. And then uh, since I choose the FEM method, it gives you the FEM uh, result for base plate as well. And then uh, if you do the design, uh, program gives you the design result for this uh, FEM method for base plate. So uh, if I choose the effective area method, then uh, report also provide you the uh, each and every detail calculation process. And this kind of report, uh, we can actually generate as PDF file format. And then we can even uh, create in the uh, internal program report. Okay, so uh, now let's see the uh, draw, uh, link option. So actually, I will show in the link option in the uh, other version here. So uh, this is actually the American version. So I will show in the link option. So here in the Midas Gen. Uh, the reason I show the link option in the American version is actually the Eurocode version has not been implemented yet. Uh, the 
uh, module will be added in the next uh, next update so anyway uh, as you if you have been used uh, Midas Design Plus, then you already know about the, this link uh, concept. So in Midas Gen, uh, if we have the this 3D analysis uh, model here, like this is the steel frame, the simple steel frame uh, model in Design uh, Midas Gen. So uh, what we have to do, we need to actually uh, analyze for this model. So I already have been analyzed here. And then uh, if we have this model, we can actually connect this program and uh, my design plus together. So here in the link option, we can uh, connect these two program. And then uh, we can move to the Midas Gen. So uh, we can actually uh, choose the point here in the Midas Gen. And then we can go, go back to Midas Design Plus here. And then it shows the node uh, information in Design Plus. So here we can import the our uh, base plate components to Midas Design Plus. Then uh, it shows the importing feature. And we can import those four nodes to uh, Midas Design Plus. So actually, if, uh, if we use this link option, then uh, we can see the forces, actual force, moment and shear from Midas Gen. So this is from Midas Gen uh, analyzed wizard. So even uh, it uh, imported the load combination together and then uh, it chose the critical load combination for the design. And also uh, the material for this uh, Midas Gen model has been imported to Midas Design Plus and also the section size has not been imported together. So uh, the things uh, we cannot imp uh, we cannot define in Midas Gen, we can actually modify uh, further in Midas Design Plus, and then we can do the design. <clears throat> okay, so that's how we can link uh, use the link option. So uh, actually, if we use this link option uh, in Midas Gen, so uh, we usually uh, just to take the reaction force from the uh, this structure model, and then we uh, copy paste to our base plate uh, um, spreadsheet, and then we do the design uh, each one by one. But if we use this link option, uh, we don't need that process. We can just click. Uh, the link import function to import all the uh, base plate components to Midas Design Plus. And if we use this uh, member list here, so uh, as you see here, we have uh, we have been imported four options, right? Four uh, base plate. So uh, if we use uh, member list, we can actually use as Excel format file. We can use Excel format file. So uh, this uh, the advantage of using this Excel member list, uh, we can actually uh, modify all the information in this Excel format. Excel format, and uh, also the other advantage is uh, if you use some other uh, analysis program, then uh, if you get the reaction force or moment, then uh, we can. Uh, import those forces to this design plus program and then we can do the design together and uh, actually this module we can uh, design at once for all the uh, components like we have four component here then uh, if we do the design uh, in this member list then we can design at once 
uh, for all these four components. Uh, so since it takes some time, so I will go back to the uh, Eurocode version. So uh, here, after we uh, do the design, everything, and then uh, now we can move to the drawing part here. So in the drawing part, so if you have the base plate component, we can just click create button. Uh, then program create the uh, drawings for us. So uh, this drawing actually uh, we can get from the uh, design plus itself. This is automated function. And then uh, you can even uh, modify the small things in here inside. For example, if I uh, add the line, we can just use like AutoCAD. And then you can even delete some part or you can add some uh, more lines here. And uh, this drawing you can actually save as uh, DWG or DXF file format directly. So you don't need to convert the file uh, extension. You can uh, directly open in AutoCAD these drawings. Okay, so uh, this is how we can use the base plate. So uh, actually, uh, there's not many things uh, I need to explain about this base plate. Uh, but if you use the uh, Maida Design Plus base plate, uh, just using with some few clicks, we can do the design, and also you can get the report, and even we can get the drawings uh, for AutoCAD drawing files. Okay, so if you have any question, uh, you can ask uh, for the question now. Thank you.